Hi, I'm Rob McGargle. I'm here at the Taylor Guitars Repair Facility. I'm here to show you some basic tricks that I know you're going to be able to do for care and feeding of your guitar, basic waxing and basic restraining techniques. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take the strings off first. Now, we can take them all off at one time, and that is okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to come up to the headstock. Hold my strings, I'm going to loosen them slowly. What this is going to allow me to do is remove my strings at the tail end of the guitar. A lot of people feel they like to unwind them here and then pull them or cut them. What I like to do is this. I'm going to come up here to the tail of the guitar. I'm going to grab my cutters and I'm just going to lift out the pins. See how simple that was? And the strings are going to stay in the slots. This is nice and easy. It's a way to not damage anything. You don't hurt yourself. You don't hurt the guitar. Yeah. You can see how easy these are going to come out of the slot. I'm going to hold these, come all the way up to my headstock now. And because we don't tie our strings on at Taylor Guitars, these are going to unwind very easily. You can see how they're just coming right off. There. Now before we get to the stringing part, we're going to go over just the basics of cleaning the guitar. Yeah. I'm going to take my saddle out because it might fall out. I'm going to grab my wax here. Now we use turtle wax here at the Taylor Guitars factory. It's Express Shine and what this is is it's a clear wax. It's not the paste wax like you would normally think of for your car, but this is a car wax. Although any other guitar polish will do you just fine. As long as you don't have a really big silicone base, it's going to be fine. So. What I'm going to do is just a nice, easy polishing here of the guitar. Now what I'm not going to do is put any of this wax on my bare wood. We don't want to do that. We're going to get to that at another time. I'm going to clean up here the sides of the guitar. I'm going to get the back of the guitar. Now there's a thing we do here that a lot of people don't, and I highly suggest it, is we're going to wax the back of the neck. This is a real important step. You want a nice, fast playing guitar the back of the neck is very important. Now our guitar is nice and clean, it's nice and waxed. What we're going to do next is we're going to clean our fingerboard. How we do that here at the factory is we use quadruple aught steel wool or four zero steel wool. You can get that at any hardware store. It's right here, it's nice and soft, it really kind of feels like, a, like cotton but it is the steel wool. Now, we have a magnetic pickup in this guitar, okay? So to take care of that, we don't want any particles on the inside of the guitar. I'm going to take some masking tape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to my sound hole and I'm going to cover that up. What this will do is keep any of the little steel wool particles from getting inside there and attracting onto the pickups. Taylor guitar systems are all magnetic. Now, with our steel wool, from the headstock, straight with the grain, light buffing motions. Okay, now that's basically clean. What this has done is taken all the grime, all the con uh, oxidization off the guitar, it cleans up all the dirt. Now, we're going to sweep this away. Now, what's important is that you wax the guitar first. By waxing the guitar first and having it polished, all of the little fragments come right off the guitar and you won't scratch the guitar. You won't hurt your instrument. We're going to grab a little paper towel here. Fold it up into a nice little square. We have some linseed oil. Now you can use fretboard cleaner. A lot of companies on the market have a fretboard cleaner. We use boiled linseed oil here at the factory. We're going to put a little bit on here. You see that? Now, I'm going to take this and blot it into the rag. I don't want it to be too saturated when I first put it on. Now you can see that I'm putting it on the fingerboard, but what it's doing is it's not soaked. We're just applying it all the way down the full length of the fingerboard. Flip the rag over to the clean side. 
nice and dry. Now we're gonna buff off any excess. We don't leave it on there. You may read directions of boiled linseed from the canister that says, hey, leave it on for 12 to 24 hours. No, this is not furniture, it's uh, your guitar. We now have the fingerboard ready to go. It's been polished, it's been cleaned up, it's been oiled, the guitar is polished and cleaned up. I'm gonna remove my tape. And once again, because we did wax it first, it makes it a lot easier if there's any oil residue left on the guitar. We can just come right up and wipe it away. Come up to the headstock of the guitar here. This is an important little step. The tuner nuts on the guitar are very important. The posts are always turning, as you can see here. So what that can do is with tension on the post, it can loosen the tuner nut. So what we're going to do is take a 10 millimeter nut wrench and we're just going to tighten those up a little bit. You can see these ones are pretty tight, but I can move them a little bit and that's what I want to check. Now what I'm not doing is crushing the guitar, but we are giving it a little bit of a snug down. Okay, as well, the tuner buttons on the guitar. That's a real important thing to check. You want to make sure that those are nice. Now these ones feel really good. If we had an issue, here is what we would do. We could come over to the tuner button, and if you look here, you got a little screw right there, okay? Little Phillips head. If I turn it to the right, what that's gonna do is tighten it up, and that's gonna make this turn a little tighter, okay? You don't want it too tight, but that'll keep it from just falling out and making the guitar go out of tune. Something to keep in mind.